Hey everybody, Dr. Eric Kerman, Guru Chiropractor. Peace and love to you all out there. I'm here again for another new video with another new patient, Charles, right? Chris. Chris. <laughs> I practiced it six times. I'm sorry. Charles, right? Close enough. No, Chris. I know, Chris. Chris came by and brought his buddy. Um, I think you're looking for a ring dinger, right? You yes. found me on the internet. Yes. And you do some research. You like looking at other Kairos. And, you know, we talked about all the big dogs before, we, you know, off camera and stuff. Absolutely. Gotcha. So if you don't mind, why don't you tell the audience a little bit about why you're here, what brought you to me, what you're right. looking for, and then we'll roll right into an exam. And then if everything qualifies, you're going to get a full body adjustment and a ring dinger, and hopefully you'll be happy on the way out. Great. So. No, every, every about twice a year, my, my back goes out. So I'm like, you know, I want to get adjusted, but sometimes I don't get adjusted until it's too late. So I don't do maintenance. So that's why I'm yeah. looking for chiropractors. There's, as I learned, a dozen, dozen and a half different ways of uh, methods of chiropractic. Yeah. Some things don't work for everybody. Some True. things do. True. So I'm just yeah. bouncing around trying to find something that works for me. And awesome. I saw your videos and sometimes you could watch a video and see if that's going to work for you or not. Yeah. So that's yeah, yeah. why I'm here. So right. you had a little, little, little resonance with my video, a little right. vibe. And now you're here to check it out. Excellent. Makes yes. sense. Yep. Well, I appreciate you coming by. Thank and you. I'm going to do my very best for you. Can't promise results. It's just really not ethical. But I will promise you, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to work my ass off to give you a good experience today and release whatever needs to be released. Great. All right. So let's roll into the exam so we can see what's going on so I know what to do. So go ahead and actually, no, slide over a little bit. Sit right there. I'm coming behind you. I'm going to check your neck and shoulders while we sit, while you sit. And then we'll lay you down and we're going to check the lower back and the rest from a laying down prone position. Your job, anything I'm doing to you, if it don't feel right, let me know right away. Otherwise, just relax. Let me do my job. Sure. You can crack a joke here and there. It's <laughs> you're allowed. Chris, 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 not Charles. I don't know like why. Columbus. I Christopher yeah, Columbus. Christopher Columbus. All right, so I'm feeling the neck to start with. Definitely got some tension and a little compression in the lower cervicals, where the neck meets the shoulders, which is a hot spot. I say it on just about every one of my videos. Yep. Too much looking down at the phone all day, sitting, driving, and we tend to slouch. And the head comes forward and puts a lot of stress right here. The average adult head is about 15 pounds. You th think bowling ball, right? Mm -hmm. So when your head's on top of your shoulders, that's normal posture. The body balances the weight properly, but to the extent that the head comes forward, now some of this weight yanks this way and stresses the hell out of here. And don't forget, it's all connected. So eventually... It messes the rest. It de even Dr. Johnson says the forward head posture is one of the main things that messes up people's backs nowadays. And, and it's epidemic. Almost everybody that comes in here has some of that. Mm. So you got some of it. The way to measure, sit up a, like what you feel is straight. You cut the shoulder in half. You bisect the shoulder and you go straight back, right? That's where the hole in your ear should be. And I don't have a measuring device, like I say, every single time. But it's an over an inch to forward. So I'd say like an inch and a quarter popping forward. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to monitor that. The good news is I've been tracking it with the ring dinger. Most patients, after they get the ring dinger, I see a reversal by at least like 50%. Mm -hmm. So we're going to check it afterwards. Hopefully that'll be you. Okay. Cool. There's a little bit of a bump here too. I don't know if you're aware of that. A little yes. bit of a reverse bump. And that's from this going forward too much. That pops backwards. With correcting the posture... Very often that'll flatten out a little bit. So right. we'll check that afterwards too. Okay, I'm talking too much. Let's do some exams. So now turn your head as far as you can this way. It's not horrible, but see how it stops here? Normally you should be able to get the nose here without effort. So that's about 35% impaired, I would you know estimate. Go this way. That's worse. See how it stops here? Should be able to go here. So that's about 50% restricted. Tilt. That's not too bad going lateral. Go the other side. A little tight on this side. Can you feel the difference? A little bit. Yeah. Now go backwards as far as you can. Not horrible, but definitely restricted. That bumps in the way. Normally, you should be able to get your face almost parallel to the ceiling. Mm. You feel it pulling here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any dizziness in this? Nope. Okay, that's important. Good. Chin down as far as you can. Now, does that cause any pulling here or even pulling any down below? No. All right, good. Come up. No, no. Now, you said your shoulders bother you a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. So let me see. You let me move you. Be passive. So I want to see if there... You said there's some restriction. Yeah. See, normal, healthy, you should be able to easily bang this to the head. Like it should just go straight there, but we're definitely restricted a little bit. Was there pain when I moved it? No. Okay. Try this side, Vinny. 
Just relax. Tight, just tightness. Tight, yeah. See, this side's easier. See how it hits the head easy? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this side's definitely looser. Are you aware of that? Do you feel tighter here? Yes. Yeah. See, it stops. See, it's pulling back on me. So we're going to check that afterwards, too. So if I do the right job here and here, we should gain some more mobility, hopefully. So I'm all about results. Progress, results, progress. All right. So now I want to check your lower back. So go ahead and go lay down on your belly. Put your face in there. Hands on the side cushions. Stay relaxed. Good. Relatively comfortable. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I'm going to look at your posture as you lay here. It's not the most ideal way to evaluate posture, but it gives me info. Your pants are crooked, but we'll leave it that way. Your hips are twisted to the right. So you got a high left hip, and it's kind of pulling this way. When I look at your upper, not too bad. But what I see is, do you, do you have scoliosis that you're aware of? No. Okay, because this whole ridge of muscle on your, uh, it's called paraspinal muscle, on the left is way higher than this side. So everything is, excuse me, raised up from, from here, here, and here. Okay. Zach, can you get in front and kneel down and see that? Like, can you see how my, see how my hands are? See how this is higher? It goes way up this way. Because I want to do some good work, and hopefully that will be a little flatter afterwards so we can take a look after. Hips are level because your, 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 your heels are even. Now I'm going to do an orthopedic test to check to see if there's any uh, compression in your lumbar spine. So I'm going to bend up your knees, right? Normal, you should just feel it pulling in your thighs. Mm -hmm. However, when I bend them up, if you feel anything extra pull here, more pulling here, any pain activate here when I bend up, let me know that. That's an abnormal uh, positive response. Here we go, Ben. What's that feel like when I bend it up? Not bad. Nothing pulling in the lower back? No. Good. Come on down. Good, good, good. Now, as I push, as I palpate, I definitely am feeling abnormal tightness here. It's restricted, and it feels like it's restricted in the sacroiliacs and in the lower lumbar. So now we're gonna we're gonna do a test that measures this the range of motion of the sacroiliac joint. So I'm gonna press down on your tailbone. Start with your left leg. Don't bend it. Keep it stiff all the way down. Lift it up as high as you can. Very good. Go down. That's pretty flexible for a big guy like you. Dry this side. Look at that and go down. Okay. Any pain or pulling abnormally? No. Okay. So you got some good range of motion. That's pretty cool. When I push in here, is there any soreness or tenderness? Like feel like you're pushing on a bruise or no? Uh, right, right, right there a little bit. Yeah, a little bit here? Very little, yeah. Okay. So that's a sign of inflammation in the soft tissue when you push on it and it's tender. Sometimes you can get jamming without um, inflammation, and sometimes you get jamming with a little inflammation. Sometimes you get jamming with a lot of inflammation. My first patient today was screaming every time I touched them. Yeah, I, we get those. But he walked out better, so that's the most important thing. Anything here tender? No. How about on this side? No. No, good. Now we're working our way up the spine. All this is way tighter than it should be muscle-wise. There's definitely some rigidity in your spine, but the muscles are really tight. How about here? Anything tender when I push? A little bit. Yeah. There's definitely some rigidity here between your shoulder blades. And right here, man, this is a major. Is it sore or just tight? Maybe a little both. Yeah, you got some soreness in there too. Major compression in your lower cervicals. This is the transition between your neck and shoulders. All transition areas of the spine are hot spots for, for problems. Uh, first transition area is where the neck transitions, or where the skull transitions to the neck, then where the neck transitions to the middle back or shoulders, then where the middle back transitions to the lumbar spine, and then where the lumbar spine transitions to the tailbone. For trivia, the two most common or most popular problematic areas in the spine, number one, number two, on the planet. Lower lumbar, uh, lower cervical. So, and you have both. So welcome, you're not alone. You're in the, minor, uh, you're in the majority. 
Okay, so you definitely have chiropractic issues. You definitely have compression. Nothing showed up to make me nervous about any kind of safety issue for treating. It's safe to treat as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. So I'm ready if you are. Sure. Okay, and we're going to do the full body in the ring digger, yeah? Yep. Good choice if you were my best friend or anybody I, I liked a lot. Not saying I don't like you, but I would highly recommend the same treatment. So I think you're making a, a wise choice. All right, so we're going to start right here. You don't have to do nothing. I'm going to just loosen you up a little bit, do a little stretch, do a little massage, kind of warm up the muscles, get you prepped and ready for the big stuff. And then we're going right in that back room. We're going to get you set up on the ring dinger table. You're going to get your first decompression pull. And we'll see how you like it. It's very intense. Most people say it doesn't hurt. There's really not a lot of pain involved. Intense, yeah, some people more so than others but very effective to get rid of all this compressive, stuck, jamming feeling in your spine. So getting up from there, you should feel a lot looser. Um, but it doesn't get everything. So then you come back on this table and we do the whole spine this way with drops. And then we're gonna do your ankles, your feet, your knees, your hips, your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists, your fingers. And that's why I call it a full body because it's not just the spine. We do all the peripheral, peripheral joints and a full spine adjustment. When you put that together with the ring dinger, that's where all the magic happens. That's why, that's what brings people, not bragging about me, but that's what, why people drive from, from Manhattan, from Pennsylvania, from Connecticut, from Boston to come get this ring dinger. And a lot of the other ring dinger guys got people flying in nowadays. I'm not a big shot yet. I don't got anybody flying in. But my first patient this morning, uh, he didn't drive just to be, you know, Truthful, he didn't drive from Massachusetts to come here, but he has in the past, but he was, he was in South Carolina coming back up and he stopped here on the way back up to get an adjustment, but he's from Massachusetts. Okay, enough of me bullshit. So I'm gonna stretch you out, do a little massage. Let me know if anything I'm doing that you don't like, otherwise just relax. Good. So you, you said you were married, right? I already heard that. You got kids or no? 27. God bless. How old? 26. Oh, shit. You're like me. I got a 24-year-old going on 25. Just a little massage. So how long have you been in Jersey? Um, seven years. All right. Were you where in New York before then? Yeah, Manhattan. Ah. So you moved to the suburbs, huh? Yeah. You like it better or what, what's the story? Yeah, it's quieter. Yeah. Now, see, I've been in Jersey for 10 years, and I'm, I'm, I'm used to, or I prefer, like, the real woods, the real country. I, was, I lived in Pennsylvania for 15 years out in the woods. So to me, this is kind of city-ish. But you work in the city, huh? Like that's where you do a lot of your business? Is that true what uh, sometimes you see on clips on, on the news? That all those uh, refugees are, are, are camped out on the streets That's in Manhattan? Yeah, I think so. You see, I you've seen that there. personally or no? No, I haven't been through it in a while. Because the clips, man, that looks horrible. Yeah. Is there any way to lower the middle part of the table? Why? It's bothering you on your chest? Yeah. Doo -doo -doo. This part here? Yeah. Sometimes I have a drop, a drop table with drop a little bit. That work better for you? Oh, yeah. All right, cool. What was bothering you? Here or here with that up, with that up like no, that? My, my stomach. Your stomach, I yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Got it. Yeah. 
Well, actually, the real purpose of that trap door is for pregnant women. That's because I that this table you could you could you could treat pregnant women. So. <laughs> no problem. I aim to please. like a little warm up for the big stuff so when you are ready big guy come on up on your feet take your time no rush and we're going in that back room for some decompression don't trip here on that little lip so what I want you to do is head here on your back face up so lay down put your head on the paper I mean head on the table good Yep, keep your hands right there. Good. Now I gotta feel your hip bones. See where they where they okay. Slide down about two inches towards your feet. A little bit more. A little bit more. Right there. Good. Now the table's coming up. You don't have to worry about nothing. It's automatic. Yeah, you wanna stay right there. Watch, you get a, you get the best view in the house right there. And if he lives, then you're going next, right? If he survives. <laughs> All right. Now, the table's going to uh, raise up your legs. Just let the table lift it up. Try not to wiggle too much. It's got a little sensitive uh, weight switch. Just let them bend as it comes up. Good. Oh, going back down. Coming up. Come on, what, you broke my table already? <laughs> okay, bend. Good. Now, we got to pin you in pretty tight here above the hip bones because when I pull your neck, I want there to be a lot of drag. I want your body to kind of stop short. And that's what allows the force to go all the way down and hit the tailbone just about every single time. So the force will be with you. Yes. Which is one of the main differences between the Y strap and the ring dinger. The Y strap, you're not pinned in. So when you pull, the body slides and you lose some of that force going down right. and I'm good. I could snap. I'm fast. I've done about a thousand Y straps, but I very rarely got below here with the Y strap, mm -hmm. but with the ring digger, every time you'll see. <laughs> All right. Can you handle this? Uh, uh, a little tight. You need one looser? Yes. Like okay. How about that? Better? That's loser. I think oh. I put it in the same hole. <laughs> right. wow. I tried to trick you, but no, that's good. You, how about that one? You got it. All right, give me your hands. Now, what happens? Uh, like a decapitation or what? Yeah. Oh. No. Not because, to worry about because right? those the patients that that happens to they don't pay, so I try to avoid that. Now, the towel goes around your neck, right? Mm -hmm. But really, it grabs the back of your skull and your jaw like this. Mm -hmm. But my hands are too small to get a good enough grip, so the towel gives me the, the, the leverage. Mm -hmm. I'm just, since you're a newbie to the ring dinger, I'm explaining. I'm explaining. Good. <clears throat> Gasoline? Tequila. Oh. Yeah. Lift up your neck and down. Good. Now, your job here, most important, is just keep your teeth together, but mm -hmm. don't bite hard, but just keep them touching so when I pull, you don't bang teeth or, God forbid, get your tongue in there. Mm -hmm. Other than that, try to stay relaxed with the rest of your body, but I'm going to help with that, and I'm going to do everything else. You ready to go? Mm -hmm. All right, give me five seconds. I like to say a little prayer, and we'll do this. Just getting the grip first. Nothing happening yet. Can you breathe? So, yeah. Is it, I mean, is it too tight on your throat or are you good? It's a little tight. Right. Chin down slightly, relax. Wiggle your left down. Oh. And boom. Let's get you oh, out of there. Wow. Keep breathing and relax. That's the ring dinger. Yeah, definitely different than the white strap. 100%. Oh, wow. You feel it down there? 
Yeah, a good a good portion down. You know what it reminded me of what, what I was telling my friend? What? You know the straws you get that have that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I thought I was gonna feel yeah, like. Yeah. It felt like that. Pretty much that's how I feel when I get mine done. Yep. Yep. Top, 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 top. You could be an inch taller now. Maybe. Change my license. <laughs> now don't get up too quick. I want to do a little twist in your neck before you get up. Okay. Are you ready or you need a little time to chill? No, I'm good. You want me so, to get up or you want to do No, that? I want to do right here, right here. The quicker you do it, the easier it is to release that I, I have found. Relax. Good. Let it go. Loose shoulder. There you go. Not too much. Sometimes the pole releases everything. All right, done here. So now when you're ready, you can make your way back up on your feet. When you get up, I want you to stop. Once you're standing, pay attention to your body and tell the camera if you feel anything different. If you notice anything. Uh, the lungs in the back feel uh, looser. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Like yeah. you could breathe deeper, but easier. Or just the muscles back there feel looser? Well, the both, ribs? Both. I can breathe better. Nice. And, and it feels like uh, not as... Jammed up? Restricted. Yeah, exactly. Good. Anything else? Doesn't have to be. I'm not trying to pull any more no, information. No, it feels good. Good? It went down pretty well, too. Yeah. Not all the way down to the tailbone, but, you know, three quarters. In the lumbars. Good. Yep. All right, cool. Good pull on my end. Appreciate you coming through, but we're going to do more now. I'm going to go back on, that be on your belly and that table there. We're going to recheck... See what's changed, and then we're going to do more. Good. All right. So that twist is not gone, but it's it's improved in your hips. It went down a little flat. But first, I want to do some drops, Zach, before we do a, 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 a close look-see. But I'm going to bend up the knees, right? Remember you said it was pulling here before? Once I bend them now, let me know if it feels the same or better. What? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yep, actually, I'm going to drop it for the treatment anyway. Scoot down towards your feet about an inch, right there. <laughs> now, let's bend these up. Tell me if it feels the same or different. No, 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 no. Bend, 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 bend oh, both. Sure, yeah. Sure. Now, how's that feel pulling in your lower back? Anything? Oh, you said before it wasn't, right? No. It wasn't pulling. Okay, so. That's not a test I want to do again because it was not positive. Now I'm going to do some drops through your lumbar spine and through your sacroiliac to release even more here. Okay? okay. Stay relaxed. Good. Ouch. Yeah. Good. Nice. Good. Good, relax. Let it go. Good, loose. Good. Good. Yep, now that twist is getting out of there, except for your pants are crooked, so it makes it look weird, but the body itself is not that twisted. Good. There, feel that release? Just wiggled it back in. Good. 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 All right. I'm going to do a little bit more. Go now looking, Zach. Zach, look now. That is like night and day. See how? See the difference, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Way flatter here. I'm going to do a little massage with the, uh, do a little more muscle work on that. See if I can get it even flatter. But compared to how it was. When you watch the video again, you'll see. If it's too much, let me know. This is pretty strong massager. You can't help eating all that good New York pizza and stuff, Manhattan pizza, bagels, all that good NYC food over there. Where do you think has the best pizza? Brooklyn? Oh, I, I, I don't know. There's a few places I go to. The, place, the best place I ever had was raised on 11th and 6th. About 30 years 
Gotcha. Jersey Peach ain't too bad compared to other places in the in the country. Like I I, I lived in Georgia. I went to grad school in Georgia and <laughs> pizza down there. <laughs> Cocky poopy. All right. Much better here. So now let's now let's check the range of motion in this in the SI joints. So now lift up as high as you can. Wow, good down. You almost kicked me in the face. Give me this one. Look at that. To me, it looked like it went up higher. But to you, how did it feel? Looser lifting or the same? A little bit looser. Good. All right, so better range of motion here, less compression here. Definitely a lot less tension here. So now we're going to work up this way. So you want that belly to part to stay down? Sure. Okay. Stay relaxed. Good. Nice. Good. Good. Nice. Good. Nice. By the way, flat, like perfectly flat right there. Mr. Chris, not Charles. Mm -hmm. Like completely normal right here. I'm not shitting you. Look up a little bit, tilt. Good, back in the middle, coming around. I wouldn't BS you. Look up again, tilt. Good, back in the center. Much better. Oh, Lord, that's good. All right, flip over on your back. Roll over Beethoven. That trap door should close when you get up. Good. Now go on your back. Nice. Hands back to me. We're going to do a little stretch and then a little bit of a tug from here. Stay relaxed. This is just a nice little stretch for your arms, your shoulders, your back, your lats. Your wrists, let it go, boom, and relax. Uh, you okay getting your feet done, your toes done, and all that? Sure. Come down a little bit towards me, a little bit more. Good. Stay relaxed. Good. 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 Relaxed. Oh, pulled one off, sorry. Good. Relaxed. Good. Now we're going to do a tug from the ankle. Should release some of the ankle if it needs it, the arch, maybe even more in the knee, maybe even more up in the hip. Mm -hmm. Just stay loose and floppy with your leg. Flop and loose. Good. Boom. That was a good one. Yeah. Okay. Now drop this one in my hands. Loose, loose, floppy. Nope. Relax. Let it go. Oh, yeah. we're good. We're good. All right, sit up when you're ready. If you need my help, I, I got you. No? Right. Swing around, face of this. Good. Awesome. Sit up a little straighter. Flatter here. Turn. Feel like that's looser? Yep, good. A little bit. A little bit there, too. Not, you know, not super significant, but we're getting there. That's better. Lateral. Good. Okay. Perfect. Now we're going to finish off. We're going to do the shoulder adjustment, elbows, wrists, fingers, both sides done. Cool. So start on this side first. Bend this one up in front of you. I got to hug around you, get my hands underneath your elbow, and I'm going to pop it up this way. So keep your fist from punching you yourself in the face because mm -hmm. we'll all laugh at you if that happens. Mm -hmm. Good. This side. Sorry for yelling in your ear. Just elbow in front a little bit more. Good. Coming around. <sighs> Drop it in my hands, just a little bit in the elbow, nothing too crazy. Good. A little bit in the wrist, floppy wrist. Good. Pull back, pull. Good. Good. Coming around, drop it in my hands, drop loose. Nothing there, ouch. No, it's okay. Wrists seem pretty good, nothing popping too much. Good. Good, good. And done. Excellent.
What's your impression? Tell the camera. <sighs> Definitely worth it. Good. Like I said, I usually wait to the last minute till I'm. I don't know if I have sciatica, but I'm bent over when my lower back goes out. Yeah. And I can only take small steps, and it lasts about yeah. three days. Yeah. So my old chiropractor passed away, like I told you, told me when you feel something coming on, or even before then, you should get adjusted. That's you the get best. adjusted every yeah. week, but, you know, don't That's wait the till best. the last minute for yeah. your yeah. traction. That's the best time to come is to stay in front of the bad stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad it was, you were happy. Thank you. I appreciate Thank you, you coming you. through. Let's just say goodbye to the audience out there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Chris, not Charles, <laughs> yes. and, and Guru Chiropractor, peace and love to everybody out there. God bless. If, if you're watching this and you relate and you're, you're feeling suffering in your back and neck um, and you think this might help you and you're in the tri-state area in the Northeast, come on through. I'll be happy and honored to help you out. The best way to reach me is go to my website, retrochiropractic.com. There's a book now link there. All the information is up front, fees. I don't take insurance. It's self-pay only. You put your name and your info and your cell phone in the book now link and my assistant will grab that and he'll contact you via text and you guys work it out. And if it works out and you want to come, come through. I'll do my very best to help you out. Peace and love out.